Hi Flossy friends, it's Liliana. Welcome back to my channel. I have a fully finished object to share, an FFO. I have three whips work in progress and um, and that's it. <laughs> that's all I have. It's going to be a short video. So um, I'll get started. The first one is a five by seven. It's a small uh, project. It's called Live in Faith. And so I'm almost done with this one. So it's almost finished. And this is what it looks like. I have a little bit more to go. I have more of the words to do down here. I have uh, the back stitching here on the on that butterfly and then I have um, more stitching down through here and then it'll be finished and ready to frame so that's it for that one and the next one is wise owl this big guy He's gorgeous. I can't wait to finish it. So I've gotten, um, let's see, this part, this corner right here done. Right there. Uh, one fourth. Well, not exactly because I did not do the um, back stitching on it yet. I'm leaving that for last. I'll probably regret that, but I don't know. What do you guys do? Do you guys backstitch um, as you go along or do you leave it for the end um, if I leave it for I'm I am deciding to leave it towards the end but I know that's gonna that's gonna be hard anyway so my fabric here is starting to fray as you can see I need to stitch that up to keep it from doing that but um, I was too excited to get started on it, so I skipped that part, and I should have done it. But anyway, so this is what I've got done so far. I'm, I regret doing it in a line like this, though. I shouldn't have stopped. Um, I should do it more like cross-country. So that way, when it's completely finished, it's not going to show the definite lines of where I stopped, but, um, well, it's a learning curve. I'm learning the ins and outs of cross stitch still. So I'll probably do it next time diagonally or more cross cross country stitching to keep that from happening. And the next project, um, the pattern I got from this book, out of this book, and it is called Victorian Skaters. And so what I did was I went and made copies um, of the pattern, and uh, it's in color, which is great. That's I prefer patterns that are in color rather than black and white. It's just easier on the eyes. <laughs> so. Um, I'll show it to you guys. I don't think I'm I'm doing um, a miss a dis. I don't think I'm doing a disservice by showing the pattern, as far as the um, designer is concerned, because I'm going to show it. I'll put my hands on it a little bit, but I want to show it to you because it looks so pretty. It's so colorful, so. So cute. I um I had to do it in two copies and, and then I just taped it together. So this is what I have done so far. Just their hands here. And this is the first time that I am cross stitching on the 28 count fabric. This is new to me. Um, and so far, I'm enjoying it. I'm okay with it. It's fine. 
um, after a few stitches, I, I took to it just fine, no problem. Um, a higher count than that, I don't know, because <laughs> I haven't tried those either. I thought I'd try with a 28 and then go up from there and see how I do. But that is my first 28 count, and I'm happy with that. Um, I can see just fine. I do use the magnifying glass, which helps a lot. Um, but I even use the magnifying glass with 14 count um, because it helps. And why not make it easy on my eyes? And now I will share my uh, finished FFO, my finished project. And this is a gift for my daughter's daughter who was born a few months ago. And this is called The Gift. Uh, no, it's called, it's called Perfect Gift. Perfect Gift is what this is called. And um, I have a stitch with me um, with this one. I only, I only made one. I only created one video of Stitch With Me with this one. And I mentioned in that video that I was going to make the stroller a little larger because I felt it was too small. Um, it, was, it was just too small. And I thought, well, I'll make it a little larger. And I added like two, two row of stitches right through there. And by doing so, I had to adapt the border to fit my to fit that modification. So I had to just change the border a little bit and all it even affected the top here. I made the heart a little taller. So I also changed the heart. And by doing that, I had to just um, change everything else on the border, but that's fine. It worked out okay. I figured it out. So it looks fine. And I'm really happy with it. I went ahead and did the framing myself. Um, for one big reason is that I just didn't want to pay to have it professionally done. Um, it's expensive and I don't know. I just thought I'll give it a go and try to do it myself. So what I did was just a piece of cardboard. Uh, it actually came with the frame and I wrapped the cloth around it. I stretched it out as much as I could. I ironed it really well before doing so, of course. And then I stretched it out and I used a glue gun. So you guys are probably cringing right now. And thinking, oh my God, why does she do that? Yeah, well, I did. And I'll show you the back. So I, like I said, I just stretched it out as much as I could as I was gluing it. This particular frame has tabs on it, which is not what I like, but I already had this frame before. So, um, I just used it because I like the color of the frame. It just matches the project perfectly as far as the color, you know, the green and a little bit of the, the brown um, throughout the frame. And it looks nice in my opinion. So I went ahead and I used it. But in the future, I think I will probably be um, buying frames that I could change out the design. I can pop in and out different designs of my choosing whenever I want. So, and this one, like I said, has tabs and the tabs are not a good, obviously it'll break after you use it several times. Um, it'll just break, but this one won't need to be changed out. So it's fine. And, um, and that's that. So, that is all I have today to share. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this short video. And thank you for your support. For those of you who have subscribed and left comments, 
I really, really appreciate those. It, it motivates me to create more. And, uh, and for those of you who are new, fairly new, I ask that you give my channel a try, see my other videos, see if you like it. And if you don't, that's fine. Um, and if you do, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. And that way, uh, if you hit the notification bell, whenever I get um, another video out, you'll be notified. And um, yeah, and so I'm a fairly new uh, content creator. I started um, just in the beginning of the year, of this year, I started. Um, so I have a few up, not much, but I have a few. And I will continue to put out more because I enjoy doing this. I really enjoy sharing as I benefit so much by watching other stitchers um, share their projects, their whips, their, um, their um, stitch with me. I, I love those videos, stitch with me. I love the uh, parades and all the shares. It, it's wonderful. So I'm really having fun with this. And I hope you guys are too. Thank you so much for joining me on this short video. And I will see you in the next.